Hello, YouTube. Welcome to Market Watch. It's that time of the week we're talking about the, the Lorcana card game market. I alluded to some craziness happening on yesterday's video. Today, we're just going to go full blown right in the Market Watch, look at some things, and talk about what exactly happened. Because I know what happened. And I sort of knew this was going to happen as well. But, you know, you don't really believe it until you see it. Kind of like Santa Claus, you know what I mean? You don't really believe in Santa until you see Santa. And this, this is much worse than Santa. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. So, uh, yeah. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. That'd be really awesome. Starting off with Elsa. When I reviewed it in the screenshot, it was 1,200. In the video yesterday, it was 1,000. Now it's already down to 820. And it will keep going down. Uh, it's fine. Just let it relax. Other Enchanted Rares have suffered similar fates. Let's take a look at this uh, freaking, this card. The, the bell. The bell was lower and obviously went higher. Same with Aladdin. Pretty sure this one was under $200. Yeah, straight up under $200. It doubled. Uh, and then uh, freaking Maui here was definitely under 100 like $200. People are buying into it. People are trying to make some, you know, people are taking advantage of other people is what's happening right now. Uh, even if something as bad as this Mickey Mouse, it's not a bad card by any means, but it's not as good as the other cards that are Enchanted Rare. And even that's price kind of crazy. So people are trying to take advantage of people that want max rarity cards, trying to really milk them. And people are really trying to do some buyouts. P I, I explained this yesterday in the video, but I'll go into it a little bit more. When a group of people wants to like conduct a buyout, they ask themselves, okay, how much money do you want to spend? The more the merrier, honestly, because they spend that money and then they'll immediately flip it. Because if they pick certain cards, they know people will buy them because the price will increase and people won't be able to see, oh, gee, it looks like it's keep going up. I better get it before it keeps going up. See, the people that do the buyouts know sort of where it's going to land at the peak. Sort of. Give or take a little bit. But the random Joe Blow does not know. And these videos are for the random Joe Blows. The ones that, you know, they, to be careful, to not get scammed, to not get slaughtered by these people with these prices, right? This video, this market series also does um, enable, you know, people to make smart investment choices. I'm a very big believer in um, self-entrepreneurship and making money. I, 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 that's, I do that. I own a card shop. I know all about this. I do. Have I messed with Arcana cards yet? I really haven't. Uh, I had an initial wave of cards that I bought when the, when, before September 1st. And then uh, I'm waiting for them to arrive in the mail still. And then I'll sell them. And uh, good thing they're taking a while to arrive because man oh man, some of these cards. <sighs> tell you. Anyway, so let's talk about some regular cards here. Uh, Rapunzel is back to being the most expensive non-enchanted card in the set at $58. Seems like higher than ever. And honestly, I believe it. Rapunzel is insane. Draw three. Hello? Card's pretty good. Uh, and then Elsa's slowly, slowly behind it at the $550. Most of people are buying foils, though. People are going, trying to get not max rarity, which is really interesting to me. They're trying to feel good, trying to have a, a not so basic legendary version of it, and instead they're just going for the middle class. Because the expensive one is just way, 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 way too much. I feel bad for these people. I really, really, really do. Um, what else we got? We got Maleficent the Dragon. Uh, next most expensive rare at $48. It was a little bit higher as well, but uh, it seemed to have worn off. And one more legendary. Uh, Bell, 50 bucks. Because Bell is crazy. Bell is good. It didn't see any top cup percentage at the PPG event. But it's still a good card. It's still a very good card. So, a lot of people are asking, a lot of people are probably thinking, okay, I thought prices were supposed to go down. Um, what happened? A astute market observer would have noticed that on September 1st, prices did dip down for a bit. And then when people realized just how little Walmart product there was, they shot back up. And that is exactly what happened. It's affecting the Enchanted Rares. It's affecting, it's affecting every card in this set. You had your chance to get it September 1st. You had a very small window in there uh, where you could buy cards for very cheap. I know I got a couple cards myself. 
at the lowest price I've ever seen for them. And then they started to really just explode from there because not all Walmarts got product. Uh, I went to a whole bunch of different stores in a few hour radius for me. No one had Lorcana on September 1st. No Walmarts, no GameStops, no Toys R Uses, not, nothing. No store that sells cards had Lorcana at all. Uh, and I've even checked back today a little bit, some places, nothing, nothing. So like some Walmarts and some big box stores, are, some areas are just not getting them. GameStop doesn't even know anymore if they're going to get them on the 8th. They don't know. They have no idea. And that's, uh, that's just how it is. So uh, that's what happened. So for now, things will be expensive. But again, hype will cool off. Things will get cheaper. We're just going through the storm right now. And do not forget that Larkana said they are printing more booster boxes of the first chapter in October. We will get more, which is really, really important. That will also drive the prices down. I'll sit on that. Tinkerbell is the most expensive Super Rare in the set now, exploding to $32 because everyone plays Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell is crazy good. Again, really big hype amount of Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell right now. I could honestly see it hit 40 bucks. I don't think it will. But if it does hit 40 bucks, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, Lilo here is back to being the most expensive rare. There was a small period where Cusco kind of overtook it with these prices. But Lilo went back to being Lilo. The most sought after rare in the set. Lilo is just that good. So is Cusco, Cusco for that matter. But Lilo is just cheaper, works with Stitch. It's an amber. That's a, that's a big help to Lilo. So yeah, these two rares are the most expensive rares in the set. And then uh, be prepared, just slowly behind at $16, $17 here. Be prepared being the only dark hole in the game is really powerful. It just blows up all the monsters. That's what it does. And be prepared is seeing play. You know, on these Ruby Amethyst decks that did well. PPG event. So yeah, it is what it is. Um, this card will probably eventually go back down in price too. Uh, everything will eventually go back down in price. How long that window is, I don't know. When it will happen, I do not know. This is a new card game with different patterns. Uh, this is still the Wild Wild West. Once we have a couple few sets in, then we know how things work. Until then, we don't. So we have to be very careful with things like this. Uh, Stitch is 20 uh, Unsurprisingly, Stitch is 20 bucks because Stitch is crazy. Stitch won the PPG. Stitch did. This, card, this guy did. Stitch. Because Stitch is crazy. Uh, so yeah, $20 Super Rare makes sense on it. Um, Ariel, going all the way up to 12 It hit 13 14 for a bit there too. Uh, but seems to have calmed down a little bit. This is worse than the other Ariel buyout we had a, a few weeks ago when it was like 10 bucks. People thought that was crazy. Well, this is this is the new normal for this Ariel, I'm afraid. Uh, we got John Silver here at 10 bucks. And 13 bucks. John Silver's went up. Everything has went up. And that's the point I'm trying to drive home here. White Pocket Watch. It went up in price. It's almost five bucks. Mickey Mouse Musketeer, a, an almost useless rare. Went up to five bucks. Uh freaking Common Elsa is almost four dollars with shipping. Common Elsa. Common Elsa. It's a common. Oh my. And then we have now the actual things I want to talk about. Booster boxes are shooting to 400. They are. You want to know why? Because I gave people... A, well, it's not because I gave people a challenge. I was challenging people to find booster boxes at Walmarts and stuff. Sealed booster boxes. No one has provided me with anything. So I think it might have been just a couple one-offs. And that was it. But I think that pull tab is broken. And it was just packs lying around for the stores that didn't get them. So, obviously, because there's less booster boxes lying around, this is what happens. And uh, you should not buy these boxes. You should wait until October for when Ravensburger will give us more booster boxes to work with. That is what you should do right now. You should not buy any booster boxes right now. Even at the inflated price of almost $400, it's still going to be hard to pull your value. It really is. Uh, Illumineer's Trove here, going for ridiculous prices. Again, just, just ignore. Uh, ignore. The gift sets are a huge ripoff, in my opinion. Uh, the cards we get in them aren't even good. I think you just avoid this product altogether, honestly. 
And starter decks are expensive. Walmart uh, starter decks go for 20 bucks. Yeah, don't buy, don't buy these starter decks. Last thing I want to talk about today was all, with all the also hype. Someone actually is trying to sell a PSA Elsa for $6,000. I don't think it will sell. And I don't think you buy it. And that's it. So, TLDR, if you didn't watch any of the video, you want to listen to me now, everything is going up because of the lack of product availability in the big box release. Wait till October or wait for the hype to cool off. Things will go down. Do not fall victim to ridiculousness like this. That's all for today's Market Watch. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and I'll see you later. Bye.